this idea, when you call it Arabic calligraphy, there's a few issues with that. One of which is it's often, or you know, it may not be the Arabic language and it may not be the Arabic peoples. And many people call it Islamic calligraphy because it, the calligraphy started with the religion of Islam. The fact is that for, for Muslims, they believe that the Quran was a, a, a divine revelation brought to the Prophet Muhammad by the angel Gabriel. And the Prophet actually didn't read or write. And most people didn't read or write in the Arabian Peninsula um, before Islam. It was, I mean, it was written, but it, there was little literacy and there was very little culture actually, the culture that there was, the art form, was poetry. And there was great poetry, there, was, there were poetry competitions. They were really into speaking beautifully at that time. And so it's probably not ironic that they get a revelation that, that is considered to be the direct, you know, words of God brought to the prophet, who he then repeated them. And people just memorized all this stuff because nobody wrote. But then they realized people get old and die. There were wars, there were problems, you know. Um, so they began to write it down. And the fact is, is that calligraphy sprung from the desire to make it as beautiful. You know, I mean, they had so much reverence and love for these words that this whole art form sprang up.